Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies and my name's Angela and I'm the crazy poppy lady and I'd like to welcome you all back. Right, today I am going to be doing a yarn review. So uh, let's move down to the camera down here and I will show you the yarn we're playing with. Right, so here it is. This is the, oh sorry, let's get it around the right way. The Michelena Bubble. Um, I'm sorry my German guys and girls I'm not going to attempt this one <laughs> I know a small amount of German but not that much far too many letters right um hope but uh, let's get on and have a look what I'm going to do is I put a photograph up um of the colorway that I have in a few moments um as it may not be showing as a true to color on uh, my video and equipment so and this is the a uh, dark to light okay and i also have the other cake which is light which was light to dark so it started off with the pink and ended up with the uh, dark gray okay so let's show you uh, the image of what these two cakes look like right so let's show you the item that i'm making at the moment now this is actually a really going to be hopefully a really stunning dress once I have finished with it. As you can see the cake itself is emptying out quite nicely. Now I had to undo the entire thing um, as I have shown on a previous um, live. I'll pop the link up here and I'll also pop the link to the dress pattern that I'm working as well up here. Um, so I'd had to undo the entire sort of half of the project I'd got to about here on my project and I had to strip the whole thing back because I couldn't get it over my head <laughs> so and this is what it's looking like at the moment now this pattern is done in double crochets that is it it's just a combination of front post and v-stitch double crochets for these top sections but as you can see as you're working down the yarn what they do is they will change one strand of the yarn i'll show you what i mean hopefully the camera will pick it up it is made with four strands of oh, sorry about that four strands of cotton so as you go along all of a sudden one strand will drop away and a new strand is added so in this case i started off with um three pink and a white and then it dropped down to two pink a white and a grey and now I am on one white two grey one pink and then I think my next one will just be the pink and three grey but um I'll have to have a look when I get to the end yeah it is okay so uh, that is what it is now it's not heavily spun as you can see I can turn it and I can quite easily open it up um, so I did read about putting a bead on your work, but I think the hole of my the hole in my bead is a bit too big. But it is meaning that as I'm working it, the bead sits on the outside of the cake, so it is slowly feeding the yarn out of the cake and into my hand. So for me, it's brilliant. I've so far only come across a one tangle, and it wasn't a massive yarn bath. It was just a tiny little bit, and with a little bit of um, wiggling of the yarn it soon undid so that was absolutely brilliant now because of the way that the yarn is made um it can get a bit annoying as you're working you get pick up speed and all of a sudden you're like oh i've missed one strand um so that seems to be quite common for me um <laughs> especially with this one but other than that it is very very forgiving um and as you can see it's bringing out some beautiful detailing let me just bring this closer to the camera and hope it focuses in there you go look at that isn't that stunning just the way that it's um working up okay so the bit that you guys really want to see is me attempting to work with it right so uh, what i've got here is a E or a 3.5 millimeter hook and that's the actual one I'm using for the project so I'm just going to do a bit and then undo it at the end 
Hi. Actually, uh, let me just bring the camera down so you can see it a bit closer. Right, so here we go. It's just doing the chaining. Sorry if you can hear breathing, I'm having to lean over the camera so I can actually see my stitches this time. Okay, I'm just going to do a very, very a small sample because of course I'll be ripping it out shortly to carry on with my dress. And so there we go, that is it as a chain. So you, it really does pick up the definition in the stitch and you can see that really nicely so now to go back into the chain oh, and um, let's do some single crochets now normally I will hold my yarn just between my two fingers there but I've noticed that with this yarn it works a lot better um, and I get less um, straggly bits if I wrap it around my little finger and then run it through that finger so it is actually oh sorry I'm so used to doing doubles with it <laughs> um, so by wrapping it around my hand like that um, it means then that the strands are coming through a lot neater Mr. the arm. Yeah, this is the section that I always find the hardest, which is going back into chain. Yep, my big trick's not working. <laughs> That's all right, I'll sort that in the millisecond when I get to the end of this row. Right, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, stop talking and uh, speed up the camera. Um, in the editing so that you guys can see it worked up a little bit quicker than what I'm doing at the moment because as you can see I'm having to go quite slow to ensure that I pick up all of those strands. Now on to half double crochets.
Now on to double crochet. Now for treble crochets. And you've got to be a bit more precise with this one because of course where the yarn does separate sometimes you may miss one of them so it's definitely a slow stitch to do. Now I'm only going to do one row of these because of course I'm going to be showing it you in a second oh. and then I'm going to be stripping back. See there it is, there's the missing one part of the stitch. So it definitely is um, a yarn that you need to keep your eye on. Now you've got to remember I am used to working with acrylic yarns um, that have no real need to be watched once you know what you're doing. So this one is definitely a challenging yarn for me, but to be honest, oh well, swap stitches. <laughs> um, but to be honest, I'm actually enjoying working with it. It just means that the stitches that I'm doing, um, the stitch work I'm using it for means that I have to take my time with each individual stitch to make sure I'm extremely precise with it, which is actually um, meaning that I get a really nice looking fabric at the end of it, as you can see above. Right, I'm going to stop talking because when I talk, I forget what I'm doing. Right, so there we go and there is our sample let me find a piece of um, white paper and I'll show you what it looks like right so here we go here's the finished sample as you can see it's only a diddy sample it was only two lines of uh, two rows of each stitch just to show you how it works up very reasonably right so of course we have our first two rows of single crochet then our half double crochet then our double crochet and then one row 
of treble crochet or nearly one row i got a bit confused didn't i but there you go and that's how it looks let's give it a little bit of a stretch out so you can see now i don't mind it i think the colors work really well and especially interchange when it interchanges into the next color and actually by putting a white background behind it it's showing the colors up a lot closer on camera okay i might have to put a white background on my table <laughs> right so that gives you an idea let me show you the color work up against a white card there we go that's a little bit truer okay right and so here's the fun or not so fun bit which is ripping it back right so a case of taking it slowly with this yarn you can't turbo speed it like you would oh just realized i've knocked the camera sorry right you can't turbo speed it like you would um say a dk or an Ar or a basic aaron like an acrylic yarn but as you can see if you take your time with it it does come out quite nicely there may be times where it will catch and my suggestion suggestion is to make sure you have um, a needle close to hand so that you can manipulate the yarn with the needle and there we go now we're on to our singles oh and guess who hasn't got a needle to hand ah that was where i've marked up my stitch right at the beginning that's why i had that extra little bit of pink running through there we go and that is it right so let's give you some uh, details on this brand now the brand is a german brand i will write the detail just here because i can't read it it's a 50% acrylic and 50% a cotton mix there are two 100 grams or 1000 meters per cake recommended a needle size in millimeters is a 2.5 to a 4 country of origin is a germany and the site that i'm going to put up has 25 different color shades available um, i cannot vouch for this company as i have never shipped with the um, shopped with them but they do state that they ship elsewhere now i'm gonna have a quick chat hopefully with a another youtuber who will say that this site's perfectly fine and if not and she will find me tell me of another one i'm sure right so as i said that this is the name of the brand and this is the name of the shop and any links will be in the description box down below right so i have just spoken to our gorgeous reggie at j hook crochet gotta love the girl i sent her um a little message with the site that i was going to show you and she said that site is a perfectly perfectly fine she uses them herself but she sent me a link to another site right so the very first place i i came across this yarn um on my search today was a with a website company called Yarn Street. Now, Yarn Street is based over in Germany, and of course, as the yarn manufacturer is also based in Germany. So I jumped onto Facebook Messenger and fired off a quick message to our gorgeous, gorgeous um, Reggie at J Hook Crochet, because of course she's based over there. So I thought she's going to be our font of knowledge because she is very knowledgeable and hopefully she'll have heard of the site and tell me if it's any cop so of course i messaged her and her response was yes i have used this site lots it's a really good site and i trust it right so here is the uh, colorway that i have and um uh, this site which is the uh, yarn street i will write the information on screen and place it in the drop down box and down below now they have the mclena bubble um a four ply as well as a three ply range in this um so the four ply okay comes in 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 different colorways 
okay it is a 50 percent acrylic and 50 percent cotton 200 grams 750 meters and the needle size is anywhere between a three and a four millimeter and of course the country of origin is germany so as you can see here they have got a stunning array of colors for this one so that is the four ply priced in at 890 then they also carry it in a three weight okay and the three weight has 25 colors and again some of them are very similar because there is my colorway just not in the weight that i was using so um the details on this are the same excluding the needle size they're saying anywhere between a 2.5 and a 4 millimeter for the three ply and that is also priced in at 890 they don't have the ones that have the glitter in them they are on a different site which i will jump to now right so here we are this is the site that reggie pointed me to now this site has got um, the normal colourways that I previously showed you, a plus a few more, and they're also in glitter. So let's have a nose. Now their prices are 17.95 euros for the four ply metallic. Okay. Oh, that one's cute. I'll have a look at that one in a bit. And here are the metallics that they have to offer us beautiful colors there okay let's just open one of them and hope that they've got all the metallics on show there we go right so for the metallics okay it's 17.95 um it's a beautiful gradient it has six colors and four threads plus a metallic thread the yarn they use is easy care mixture of 50 cotton 48 acrylic and two polyester which is the metallic yarn it's all washable at 40 degrees and doesn't scratch delicate skin it's got a silky shine beautiful color gradient and blah 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 right so as i said it's 50 percent cotton 48 polyacrylic and two percent polyester which is the thread it's size is a four and it's a 200 gram or 750 meters and the needle size is three millimeters to 3.5 millimeters um no they don't show them as a block of colors that's a shame right let's scoot back all right so uh, let's have a look down at the colorways they have on offer in the metallic range On to page two. Right now we are on to the ones without the metallic thread. Okay, so let's just jump into this one a minute and we'll get the details up for this one. Now, the ones without the metallic thread are a still a gradient yarn and they are four ply, still 200 grams and they are priced in at 16.95 euros now remember you do have to add that plus shipping costs i'm going to do a little section at the end about the shipping costs hold on to your wallets but let's go back to this colorway now okay um now this is an easy care mixture of 50 cotton and 50 acrylic yarn it's washable at 40 and it doesn't scratch your skin and it has a shiny a silky shine um it is wrapped by hand 
for you in our creative yarn factory so as i've stated it's 50 cotton 50 acrylic it's a size 4 weight it's 20 grams oh sorry 200 grams 750 meters and a needle size anywhere between 3 millimeter and 3.5 okay right so let's go back so now let's have a look at the other colorways they have to offer Oh wow, they've actually they're actually showing it here, actually made up. I don't know if that is a knitted or a crocheted garment though. It's looking quite dense, so I'd assume it's knitted. Ah, but this one looks like a granny square shawl. So that's how it works up in a possible granny square. That's really nice to know. Well. Wow. I am loving the fact that they're showing it to us um, in an item made up as well as in the ball. Oh, sorry, the cake. On to the next page. Here we go. Oh, we've got some glittery ones. I wonder if they're going to show those in made up. Nope, just the plain ones. And that is it for the different cakes that they have on offer. Now let's go on and have a look at um, how much it's going to cost us to purchase just the one cake. Right, so as I said, I quite liked this um, cake. Now, it's a 15 uh, euros and eight cents, or whatever the extra little thing's called. And so I've added one. I've added one to my cart because I just wanted to see how much shipping into the UK was now going to cost. Because of course, the price that they're showing on screen is not the final price that you're going to have to pay because you've got to add your postage and other bits and pieces. So I've met, I've put in that my delivery is to the United Kingdom. Okay, so it's here is what it's telling me it is now going to cost me to just get it into the UK. It's going to cost me an extra twelve pounds sixty one for one cake. Okay. Um, so now my total is up at £27.69 for one cake. And then of course they've also got the extra section that is stated that with the order I acknowledge that the shipment is from Germany to the destination at United Kingdom. The local value added tax, customers clearance cost and customs duties are not included in the total of the order. And must be paid by third parties. Right, so basically, I've got more to pay for this order when it arrives. Uh, it come on, gang! <laughs> come on, UK and German government, sort it out so our ta our prices can go down. So, in regards to me purchasing a yarn from Germany at this moment in time, I'm sorry to say, I am outpriced. Um, so I will be uh, looking for this um yarn elsewhere. But let's have a quick nose and see how the US costs differ. Are you ready? Okay US, you ain't going to be ordering from here. Your shipping costs for one cake are 50 um, euros 42, making that one cake 65.5 euros. Yeah, okay. And let's have a look. South Africa, just say why not. 
Right, your postage is coming in at 40 euros and making your total net 55.08 euros. And of course, you will have your added duties and taxes added as well. Um, Australia. There we are. Australians, let's see how bad it is for you. Right, okay, Australians. Now, stay clear. Really, really, really stay clear. Your shipping costs for one cake is 168 euros. Um, no. You'd probably find it'd be cheaper to send it to me and then have me send it to you. But, again, that's without any extras um, with the taxes and things like that. Ouch. Right, so here's my little roundup um, for the end of this video. Thank you ever so much, Reggie, for the extra website. They had all those gorgeous glitter yarns. Um, now, price-wise for me at the moment, for both websites, I am outpriced due to the shipping costs. I do understand that if I buy a lot more yarn from them, there's, it will make it more value for money because, of course, the more you buy, the more they can fit in the box and it goes up in increments based on the weight that they're sending over to, to you. But then, of course, on top of that, I have also got the import taxes and other taxes that will be shoved on at port. So for me, at this moment in time, as I said, I am outpriced. So I'm going to have to see if I can find it from a UK stockist instead. Now, please remember that the colours will not be showing true in this video um, for the yarns that are on the site because of me recording um, the screen. So, because I was recording it through a camera facing the screen. So if you want to have a look at the colourways, uh, jump onto the links and down below and just to go, oh, those are nice, rather than go, oh, let's pay X amount to get it posted to me. But you never know, you may be able to find um, those yarns in a stockist close to you. Um, now, I did have another thought. When it's safe to do so, I might just jump in my car <laughs> and um, take a little road trip to um, in Germany because <laughs> it's bound to be cheaper to do a drive over to Germany from the UK um, to pick up a load of gorgeous, gorgeous yarn and bring it back with me uh, rather than actually paying the shipping costs because that's how extortionate it is at the moment. Um, I just thought that might make you giggle like it did me when I thought of it. All right, I'm going to head off now. I will see you all really, really soon. So if you can, please stay in and definitely stay safe and try for now, everybody.